Okay, guys, let's see. I just got a message for someone. If your ego is in the way of your intuition and who you are, look, angry. Look, your ego is interrupting your mundane. Okay. Use the full moon power. Can't make it up. We have an eclipse, I believe. Full moon power. Use this full moon power to release this shit. Because look, look, look what spirit was finna say. It's recreating chaos within your mind. Okay. So what is the first steps to releasing this? I just heard again, using the full moon power. Manifesting that your ego will bag the fuck back. Okay. Space for self, vulnerability, to seek pleasure. You're going to need space. And to be vulnerable, to ever seek the pleasure that you feel like you deserve. You're going to have to be vulnerable and alone for a spirit of saying. Breathe, too. Anxiety is in the air, baby. It's nothing in, uh, nothing but anxiety in the air. Crazy. Nothing but anxiety is in the air at the end of the day. And you really don't have much joy from this, do you? You can't even remember your dreams is what I'm saying. You're trying to say, I was just going to say, you're trying to remember your dreams. This is because you're over ex ex exerted, overloaded. Uh, take a step back. Go into hermit mode a little bit. You got kids. You can't go into hermit mode without your kids. You need to go into hermit mode with your kids. Shit. Make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> what Jamie Foxx say, I'm going to make it do what it do, baby. As a matter of fact, let's literally listen to that song. I like that song. Uh, somebody definitely needs to take a step back, okay? Ground is what I'm hearing. Ground, meditate, eat better, do better, feel like it changes in the air because with this new moon focus, that's it's all about manifestations. It's definitely going to Spirit is a full moon. Okay. Full moon focus, right? It's definitely going to change your reality. I have seen a TikTok video. And she said, the moon will be in Taurus. The moon is in Taurus. And Taurus is all about cutting out bullshit and going straight to the source and, and weeding out the bad from the good and the good from the bad, right? Taurus, low-key energy, don't be playing. They cut throat. They'll, they'll be like, hey, I can't do this no more. I don't want to do this no more. I, I don't like this. You know, you feel me? They're kind of, yes, for some, spirit is saying yes for some, they're kind of cut throat. So this is why the moon is in Taurus right now. Because you need to be cutthroat towards the things that you need to cut out. Cutthroat to cut through to cut out. And that's just facts. Okay, I don't know what you guys are afraid of. What 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 are you doing? Like, what is so devastating to you to where you're afraid to cut it out by going through it? You're trying to go around it. You can't even remember your dreams right now, how much you're trying to avoid yourself. That's why you can't remember your dreams because not only are you avoiding your dreams because your dreams have messages, you're avoiding yourself. So, of course, you're finna not remember your damn dreams. The hell? I'm trying to look at that song. I know the song name, but I just, I'm gonna just play Jamie Foxx, period, right? Come on, y'all. Y'all know what y'all need to cut out. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Somebody's also a Taurus, too. And you're afraid of change. It's like the storm is too much. I just said storm, and Jamie Foxx is playing storm forecast. Okay. So, you need to trust the process at the end of the day, okay? You're afraid of the unknown. Somebody's definitely an earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This may be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus reading. Spirit is saying yes. Um, you, you, you are definitely afraid of the unknown. You're definitely afraid to remember because you think it is going to take away your joy. That's why you're, uh, withholding information from your motherfucking self. You're withholding your dreams. Look, where did the card go? I flipped it. I think I did. Um, from a, you've been doing this shit from a child since you was a child. You've been ignoring the fuck out. Of, ooh, baby. Spirit, am I supposed to channel that? So you've been withholding. 
Okay. So you've been withholding things from childhood, from yourself. You've been forever. You can't be vulnerable within yourself. So this is giving you nothing but displeasure. This is not satisfaction. Okay. You need space and you need to go into space and hermit mode to be vulnerable with yourself. But you're not going to do that right now. I can tell you that right now. You're going to avoid the fuck out of this message as well. You're going to say, damn, she, she, she's resonating like a motherfucker, but you're still not going to do the work. Don't play with me like you is. Because um, you don't trust. You don't trust the process. You trust what a reader says, but you don't trust the process for your own self to actually do it and come into fruition. Why, Ursine? You too much in your head. You too much in the air. Oh, everything is... It is what it is. It happened for a reason. Everything gonna be okay. Not if you don't go straight to your childhood and try to fix this motherfucking shit. Huh. You can't even remember your damn dreams right now. Somebody has lost a parent figure. And ever since you lost that parent figure, they are deceased. They are deceased. And ever since then, you have been so cold. So invulnerable is that a word if it ain't a bitch it is today <laughs> you've been not remembering certain shit because the memories are painful especially from your childhood they have you have happy memories but it's okay some of the memories are from your childhood that are not happy and and, and it's it's you having your parent as well in your life that was the most happiest time and since you don't have them i heard cancer cancer got someone I'm sorry about that. But their spirit doesn't die. It's just the body. It's just a physical form, okay? We live eternally, and I truly believe that. We go in and out of different beings. We can be a rose. We can be whatever. What the fuck is this? We can be a rainbow. We can be into space, maybe. We can be in the clouds. We can be a cloud if we wanted to. We can be a butterfly. Look, I just said a flower. Somebody reincarnated with a flower. And you guys love flowers. And you love a sp specific flower that your mom or dad used to give you or used to like. And you keep buying those flowers because and putting them on their spe specific grave because th they in the flowers, bro. Don't tell me no otherwise. That's 17, 20 on the clock. They are in the flowers. But you feel like Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, this storm is a little bit much. And if you haven't physically uh, felt the pain of a... Uh, parent figure leaving physically then it's just the thought of your parents being shitty to you during childhood and you didn't actually necessarily have that relationship with them yes you're entangled you're entwined with this bullshit you're entangled with it you gotta release this you gotta let that go you gotta trust the universe oh my god you gotta trust and grow and breathe what the fuck did I just say and love and reflect on yourself so you can fucking heal or sign. Look, and there it is in short message 808 on the clock. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's get these uh, parental issues up on the surface. That's 18, 18, 8, 8, 8, 8 18 on the clock. <laughs> okay, let's get these parental issues out there and shown forth so we can reflect on these and love thyself and trust the process because. You don't trust shit right now. Ever since your parent fucked you up or ever since your parent has left this earth, you don't trust shit. And if it wasn't from them, you still don't trust it. And that is what's happen happening now is that's what's holding you from your growth. You have grudges against your parents as well. Somebody has a karmic parent here. Virgo, I heard Virgo, you have a karmic parent here and you have not reflected and let this shit go. Others of you, you actually physically... Uh, your parents actually physically left this earth, so they are now in spirit. But, spirit has said I'm correct. But, they always watching over you guys. They can't wait until you get into your own and get into, in, into the knowing. Because right now, you're not trusting of anything. You need to be vulnerable, okay? You have to be vulnerable. You have to let this shit go to grow. Look, they're watching you. They just, they want you to grow so bad. Somebody's name is Ulysses. And Unique. Somebody's name is Unique and Ulysses. Okay? Also, you have to have a union within yourself. This is union. You see how the snake is about to touch the head to the toe? That's a, that's a union to me. Knowing which way you you going left and right. That's a union to me. Nothing but fucking growth. Look, the shadow is up underneath you and you're growing away. You're jumping away from that shit. You're growing away. Come on, y'all. Come on. Spirit getting messed up with the spirit. 
shit. Reflect on this shit. If you reflect and be vulnerable and go into hermit mode and go straight into your childhood and which and what you don't want to remember. This is look, when you dream, you dream of your childhood and some things that you need to fix and you don't like that shit. You immediately wake up and forget. And when I rhyme, you know I get in the chiming. <laughs>